getting off the buses, and walking into school. Students are returning to school today on a hybrid schedule. At Red Cedar Elementary School, educators were eager to see their students. OMG, oh my gosh, everyone is very excited. Teachers are so excited because seeing students through a screen can only get you so far for the emotional part of things. So this is awesome. I'm so excited to meet my new babies. I have second grade this year, and I've seen them on the computer, but I am super excited to see them in person. The students are also excited to be back in their classrooms. It's my first day of school, and I get to meet my new friends I haven't met yet. Seeing my teachers and like actually be in school in person. At May River High School, it felt like the first day of school. You know, this is more exciting than the first day of school. It's the first day back after seven months, and so we, are, we just can't even put words to describe it. The teachers and students say they're happy to be back learning face to face. Oh, I am so excited to finally see them in person. I've seen them on Zoom, but I haven't actually seen their actual faces, so I get to finally meet my kids. I'm excited because I don't have to be on my computer at home and I'm excited to see my teachers. That connection between a teacher and student of um, being able to communicate more, that kind of that bridge of communication between student and teacher online, it was, it was, I'd say it was pretty difficult. This is the first time students have returned to school since the governor closed them due to COVID-19 in March. Mask, 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 with mask breaks, but then back to masks. Uh, social distancing, hand washing, making sure we're very cognizant of the fact that this is a very communicable disease and we don't want to communicate it. We want to make sure everyone stays safe. Under the hybrid model, students have been placed in two groups. Each group will go to school two days a week and will learn virtually the other three days. For the Beaufort County School District, Ron Lopes.